internships at LinkedIn, Amazon, Coinbase. Having something centralized where every single internship is posted right when they're released. There's so many other people who can say they're doing all those things and don't have the best chance of succeeding. The template that I use is super simple. Like a lot of people, they don't want to go in and actually look at your whole resume. They just want to see you. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down the exact systems that I use to get ahead of 99% of computer science students. These systems took me from no experience to internships at LinkedIn, Amazon, Coinbase, and eventually two full-time job offers at DoorDash and Coinbase for over $200,000. I was also able to land internship interviews at super popular hedge funds like Citadel and Two Sigma. And just to be clear, this video is gonna have fancy editing or the basic advice you usually get. This video is gonna be about me going into the actual resources that I use and showing you exactly how I use them and how you can use them too. So if you just give me 10 minutes of your time, I guarantee you that these systems will dramatically increase your chances of getting an internship. But enough of yapping, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the obvious one, technical interviews. The phrase that I really take to heart is work smarter, not harder. So now I'm gonna take you through Sean Prasad's patterns to show you how exactly how I got proficient in lead code in half the time as everyone else. So the first thing I would do every morning, I'd go to Sean Prasad patterns. All you do is look up Sean Prasad pattern. Should be a website right here. Click on this website. As you can see here, they have a bunch of different patterns. So if we go to something like dynamic programming, you'll see all these different patterns, um, companies that use these patterns and use these questions. So literally just what I did is do two questions per day for a whole week of a certain pattern. So for example, I do two questions in dynamic programming. Let's say I did like climbing stairs. It takes you to the leak code question, do the question. If you're stuck, don't spend more than 10 minutes on a question if you have no idea where to start, right? Like if you're stuck on climbing stairs, copy the question, paste it. There are plenty of videos here that show you exactly how to do the question. Watch those videos, come back to the problem, try to do it from scratch and make sure you really understand how to do it. And the final step is now that you know how to do all of these questions in this pattern, let's say for example, if you're talking about dynamic programming, now you can go to things like blind 75 and you can use this filter button and actually sort by topics like dynamic programming. And now you can see a bunch of different questions and these questions are usually different from lead code patterns. So do these questions and use lead code patterns as your study guide and use this as your test. Don't use any hints or any help for these. These should be proving that you actually know what you're doing for that specific topic. When I first started lead code, I made the same mistake as everyone else. I was just going through the motion, you know, opening random problems, hoping I'd get better. So what finally clicked for me is Leco is not about memorizing problems. It's about recognizing patterns. For example, week one, I do two questions a day from let's say some pattern like arrays and strings. And then the next week, I do two questions a day from Blind75 or Necode 150 for that specific pattern. And I think this is the most important thing. If you take anything away from this, wake up one hour earlier than you usually wake up. I would always wake up at eight o'clock and then stuff would come up during the day and I'd be like, oh, I'll get to leap code later. I'd do homework first, I'd hang out with friends first. Then I'd always end up skipping leap code. So instead, what really was life-changing was I started waking up an hour earlier, just one hour. And this meant I knocked out my Leco questions first thing in the morning, one hour, two questions. By doing this early, I eliminated all the excuses that I had before. It's just too easy to say, you know, I'll do it tomorrow when there's no actual deadline. Okay, now on to part two of the plan. Apply early and apply often. One of the biggest mistakes that I've seen computer science students make is they wait until everything's perfect. And here's the thing, it's never gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be something you wanna add to your resume. There's always gonna be something else you could do, one other project, but honestly, that's the worst thing you could do. From recruiters I've seen and talked to, a lot of them say that the earlier you apply, the more likely it is for your resume to actually get seen. Recruiters get so many applicants that they often review resumes as soon as they come in. So if you wait too long, you risk never getting it seen and getting it buried under a bunch of other people's resumes. My plan for applying early and often was super simple. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the Pit CSC repository. So search it up, you'll find this GitHub repo right here. Okay, as you can see, you can search by the different type of internship categories, software engineering, product management, and you, there's even a legend showing if it's a FANG plus company or if it requires US citizenship, and even for things like advanced degrees, like masters and PhDs. Having something like this where everything's centralized is a game changer. I was able to apply to both Amazon and Meta because I would religiously check this repository starting in the morning and throughout the day. I saw that Meta had an internship and the age was zero days, meaning it was posted today, similar to actually how it is right now, right? They just posted this product security engineer internship role. And if you're looking for that role, you could immediately see that it was here along with a bunch of other companies. Having something centralized where every single internship is posted right when they're released is a game changer. I was able to apply to a Meta and Amazon internship the day they were posted because I checked this repository religiously. I would check in the morning and throughout the day. As you can see here, all these internships are sorted by age. So this meta internship for a product security engineer came out literally today. 
Same with a bunch of these internships. It would be impossible for me to apply to all these internships and find these internships without something like this repository. This was an absolute game changer. All you have to do is click apply. Let's say I wanna to go to this meta internship, click apply, takes you to the job. You can apply quickly, go back, and bang, apply to five or 10 a day, and you're gonna apply not only to a bunch of companies, but immediately when they open. At the end of the day, I'd rather have my resume viewed, even if it's not perfect, than never have it viewed at all. Something that I hear so many people say is, well, it doesn't matter, I'm not gonna apply because I don't have a chance. Why would they take me when I have no experience over somebody else? You'd be surprised how many people I know with zero internship experience have gotten jobs at Google or Meta over people with plenty more experience. You never know what a company or recruiters are looking for. So why give yourself a 0% chance by not applying when you could give yourself maybe even just a 5% chance? Because to be honest, all you need is one to hit. And I realized that early. I did what others were scared to do. I applied early, I applied often, I treated it like a numbers game. And yeah, not every application worked, but the ones that did, honestly, I never thought was possible. I never thought somebody coming from a state school that wasn't a target school could get interviews at Citadel, could get interviews at Two Sigma, Meta, Amazon, all the places I got interviews at. And that just made me realize, if you do things the right way, if you apply early, you apply often, you're up to date with your lead code, the world has endless possibilities, you have endless internship opportunities, just don't be scared, don't hesitate, apply early, apply often. Okay, step three of the plan, this one's super important. Get referrals as much as you can because referrals can 10x your chances of actually getting the internship. Once I realized that referrals can even just get you slightly above somebody else, I knew that I had to do that if I wanted to be ahead of 99% of other students. If I could apply early, if I could have a referral, and I could be super good at leak code, I mean, there's so many other people who can say they're doing all those things and don't have the best chance of succeeding. So what did I do? What was my plan? Okay, we're on LinkedIn now, and what I did is I basically went here, clicked the search bar, click enter, and then basically you can sort here by all filters, and go over here, you can choose the current company somebody's at. So let's say I wanna find a Google recruiter, I'll choose Google, and okay, I wanna use a connection, right? Connections are the best way to actually be able to connect to somebody and have them have the best chance of responding to you. So let's say, okay, I went to the University of Florida, so school at University of Florida. And then search show results. Okay, so now it's filtering by people who work at Google and went to the University of Florida. Now we can filter even more just by saying recruiter and bang. Now we have a bunch of recruiters and they all work at Google and they all went to the University of Florida. Now we message them, we can say, hey, go Gators. I saw you were a University of Florida alum. I go there currently and I'm looking to chat. So now that you know how to find the best people to message, the next thing is a template. The template that I use is super simple. Basically, as you can see here, I sent a bunch of these, right? Like, fellow Gator, fellow Gator, fellow Gator. So if we go into one of these, we can see, hey, I just said, hey, my name is Victor, so you're a few of alum. You know, a couple things about what I wanted. And I said, attaches my resume, you know, no worries if not, go Gators. And here I put a TLDR of my resume because I feel like a lot of people, they don't want to go in and actually look at your whole resume. They just want to see what relevant experience you have and if it's a good fit for the role. Even if you don't have any big names on your resume, just you know maybe put data structures class or some project you've done that you're very proud of. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And as you can tell, most of them didn't respond. This is the thing, like 95, probably even more percent of that will not respond to you. And that's okay. Because if you have one response, then that one referral will boost your chances significantly. And again, all you need is one. I was putting in the work with these. As you can see here, scrolling up, I was messaging everyone saying, hey, looking for a job, you know, different companies, Uniswap, Datadog. And that's what you need to do to get ahead of 99% of people because those people aren't willing to put in the time and effort to be able to message, you know, five people a day or whatever it is. And, you know, just use your connections, right? Maybe you guys are in the same club. I was the ACM president. I reached out to a past ACM president and he was able to give me a referral. So use your connection, use your leverage, figure out ways to get referrals because I guarantee you, you can. To be honest, 99% of people that you message on LinkedIn are probably gonna ignore it. And that's fine, it's not personal, they don't know you. But why does that matter? All you need is one yes. All you need is one singular yes. Just like all you need is one singular internship. So don't be afraid to ask for a referral because what I've realized and as I've talked to people and now I'm in the position to be giving out referrals is that for internships, people love giving back to students. They remember when they were students and they love helping. It makes them feel good about themselves that they're giving back to the youth. And to make it even sweeter for full-time employees, they get a cash bonus. So it's really benefiting both of you. One person gets a job and one person gets money. So to recap everything, all you have to do is one, grind lead code, use the pattern system I showed you and make sure to set your alarm one hour earlier than you usually do, just so there's no excuses. Then of course, apply early and often, make it a habit of religiously checking the Pit CSE repo I showed you and you will never miss a job application. And of course, get referrals 
people love to help students. So use that to your advantage. Use LinkedIn, reach out, use your connection, use your leverage for the college you went to or the school you went to. And of course, use the template that I showed you guys earlier in the video to have the best chance to succeed. And don't just close this video and move on. Actually write all these things down, write all three of these steps down and take actionable action that I showed you to actually do these steps every day and do it consistently. All right, guys, that's all for the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.